Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Nigel Gardner. I'm here to guide you through the mysterious world of the fretboard. Today I thought I'd try and make a video all about the Dorian mode. I'll make this as simple as I possibly can. If I take two chords, A minor and D minor, A minor has A, C and E to make up an A minor. D minor is D, F and A. So that's the first note of the scale, the minor third and the fifth. A, C, E, or in D minor's case, D, F, A. If we take all of those notes, A, C, E, D, F, A, and put them in a line in order, we've got A, C, D, E, F. We don't know what B and G are doing in this instance, so we just have to assume they're normal, just B and G. It gives us an A minor scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's all very straightforward, and most people would know they could play a minor pentatonic or a natural minor scale over that chord sequence of just those two chords, A minor, D minor. Let's take the same approach to Dorian. Imagine you're playing in a band with a group of people and they've got this chord progression A minor, but instead of D minor next, it's D major. So you might think, hang on, what scale do I play over that? If we just take apart those chords and do the same thing we did earlier, you'll see what scale you're left with. So A minor is A, C, E, D major is D, F sharp, and A. So put those in order, you've got A, C, D, E, F sharp. We'll assume B and G are just normal, because we don't know otherwise. That scale, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, you might be ahead of me, is the E minor scale, or part of the G major world. The root note of this song, this piece, this chord progression is A. No one can argue that because it starts on A, it finishes on A, hypothetically. So you have to assume it's A, but there's a sharp in it. That's what Dorian is. Dorian is a minor scale, a natural minor scale, with a sharp six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That six has been sharpened by the chord progression. So the chords have told us what the mode is. I think it's kind of quite a fun game really of like listening to the music, looking at the chords and being like, oh right, that's the scale. Like you don't get to choose, the song tells you what the scale is. So you've got your E minor scale with A as the root. That's one way of approaching this. Another way would be to take your A minor pentatonic scale, root, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat seven, and just put the sharp six into it. So let's take Moon Dance by Van Morrison. All right, so. Pentatonic. Nothing offensive there so far. No problems. But there's nothing bringing out the character of the music. It needs that D sharp to make it make sense. So knowing your theory is going to help a lot. I'm just going to put up a cycle of fifths here. C major and A minor are relative major and minor. Then you've got G major and E minor. That has one sharp, which is F sharp. On the other side of things, if you go the other way, you've got F major and D minor. That has one flat. If you've never done this before, I would recommend not going any further than that until you get that. So C major, nothing. G major has one sharp. F major has one flat. It's a good place to start. All right, there's only one sharp in this. But as you go round, they increase one every time. The order of those sharps is F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Four crazy goats destroy an entire barn. I came up with that myself. I'm pretty pleased with it, to be honest. All right, I'm going to put this PDF on my Patreon page just so you can download it. And I would recommend like printing out and actually writing out cycle of fifths because it's worth understanding. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe. See you again. Thanks.